Hey everyone, so I'm just recording my first narration, so I'm gonna, probably going to stuff things up, and I really should have muted my phone too. But this thing's 6.3 kilos, it's the Helios 64. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and uh, ordered in June, I wasn't going to order it. For those that uh, have seen a couple of my videos, I actually have two of the Helios 4s, um, so I wasn't going to order the 64. Uh, however, just decided to do so, and uh, I'll tell you what, I've had it running for two days now. I'm really, really impressed. So, you know, I'm, I don't want to go through and just, you know, name everything you're going to get, but, you know, these things here, trays for your uh, 2.5 inch drives as opposed to your larger ones. Uh, you get five of those, obviously, because the 64 has five bays. Um, it was really easy to put together. I had my iPad there, as you'll see later on, and um, the KOL website has the um, the walkthrough of how to to set it all up. When I did set it up, I had no issues whatsoever, um, except I didn't um, pin back the fan cables, so they were touching, but that was a very easy to fix. To um, to sort that out. Anyway, this is a really powerful board. Uh, I'll tell you what, for those that have seen the Helios 4, this is a massive improvement on on that one. And uh, just even after I installed the software, installed Plex and everything, uh, it just picked up my, my uh, libraries and imported them super quick, as opposed to the Helios 4, which did take a while. Um, yeah, the, uh, the libraries were all updated very quickly, so it's got a fair bit of power to it. The only issue I do have, uh, I'm running a 32 gig class 10 SD card, and it's already full. So I'm gonna have to go to uh, the local computer shop, get a 64, I think, and um, re-burn that SD card, and because um, I really can't do anything with it at the moment at all. So um, there's my Hel uh, Helios 4. I did drop it with the old Perspex um, casing on it. That actually still works. It's got um, you know, movies and TV shows, etc., on it um, with some four terabyte drives running on RAID. So what I'm going to do is put those four drives into the Helios 64 um, and install the software. So, you know, first things first, let's pull it all apart and um, get all the crap disassembled. And these cables took a bit of, <laughs> took a bit of while to untangle them all and work out where everything went. But um, yeah, it was a pretty pretty simple uh, process. As I said, you know, the iPad's there. It just shows you step by step what to do. So as you can see, I'm just pulling it all apart now. This that casing with nothing in it is still really heavy. So um, you know, don't go drop it on your feet or anything. Um, the little front sticker there, which I'm about to put on, I did put it on crooked, and that is going to bug me considerably. So um, I'm probably going to work out a way of getting it off, and maybe reattaching it just to um, to make it neater which you can't really tell until it's all put back together and finished, but yeah, it's quite it's quite annoying. If you're looking at it now, you can see the uh, the silver tray, so. All right, let's watch as we're going through, blah, blah, blah. Screw it all in. Once I put the battery in, uh, the battery actually has some charge to it already, and um, you know, you'll see the front light actually lights up so um, I haven't ran it just to see on a full charge how long it will last for uh, if there's a power failure um, but I might give it a timer and um, just see how it goes anyway uh, I can't remember the the size of the battery but um, yeah, if you can get an hour out of it that's pretty good I suppose do have a problem with I think it's bay 2 one of the um, the holes that you screw into 
I might have had some problem with that, so I'm gonna have to replace that with like a little bolt. Um, so, um, yeah, the bay two wouldn't go in properly once I um, put it in, so I had to use my hands just actually push that SATA, uh, the data um, and, and power plug into the back of the drive once I slid the tray in. Telling my wife about this, just showing at the back of this case here. Once the fans are in and the stickers on, I tell you what, it really looks good. They're using great font, and it just looks nice with that white font uh, there and and the black case. It is, it's quite an impressive looking unit. As I said, like boxed up at 6.3 kilo, so you can imagine um, you know, moving things around. It is quite a heavy, quite a heavy piece of hardware there. But that is really nice. I do like that. I'm not sure if I can use two network cables and run it out, but uh, I'm just running on the one gig at the moment. Um, I do have high speed um, land through through the room that that's in, but I think one's just enough for the moment. Although I haven't tried streaming to a TV yet, um, so that's the next thing I've got to test, just to see the data coming through there. Yeah, I wasn't sure about those pink drive holders, but with the black, it actually looks quite nice. So I've got the four drives out of the Helios 4 in there now. And drive five, obviously, there's nothing in there at the moment. So I screwed that in anyway, just to, to finish it off. And these front panel, click. It just clicks in with a magnet and um, Hey Max, it just clicks in with the um, the magnets there and holds it all in place. It's quite nice. Say hi to the camera. Hi. And there we are. So from that Helios four to the Helios sixty four, that is a really nice unit, and I'm really really impressed. It didn't take long to put it together. So as I said, the instructions are on online cable.io so definitely uh, follow that and it, it's really quick and easy so there's my helios 4 that is still running and then the 64 down there so all you have to do is obviously if you know anything about this sort of stuff i've got open media vault on it um so just download the the correct thing for it put it into to etcher and um, let it run. You know, very quick, very painless. But uh, as I said, I, um, I'm using a 32 gig drive for the uh, SD card. It is full now, so uh, all I do have on it is combustion, which is used to be what transmission was called and um and plex that's literally it so um yeah so i'd go for a larger a larger disc i don't know if this has actually got it in it no it tells me no it doesn't tell me the amount of data i already had but yeah so you just log in as as the instructions say and away you go and i'll put in omv on that myself and um you know that's that's all you really need to do with plex and also um samba i think i took them off but there we go
can see there disc two wasn't in properly so I actually used my hand just to push that in and um, you can see where the sticker there is crooked so that's, that's it, it's going to bug me. But the blue lights look nice and um, yeah so if you have a chance to, to go and buy one of these if you're looking for a NAS go and buy one it's um, it's definitely worthwhile and you know building it yourself as well just saves a hell of a lot of money and um, yeah not much effort involved either anyway thanks for watching